Our vision, the mountain that we're climbing, is to be the go-to specialty contractor in the U.S. with an unrelenting commitment to building people, building trust, building technology, and building community. To be the go-to in the U.S., that, that's a bold vision, but thinking small is a self-fulfilling prophecy. And we want to be bold. We want to live into our potential. And that's what I believe we have within us, is to grow as people and to better serve our community and our marketplace. What excites me most about Century Fence is we're over 100 years old and we're just getting started. We have a few clients that we do all of their work exclusively. We have some large energy companies throughout the Midwest that hire us to perform their work on multiple sites in multiple states. I need to acknowledge the field people. They're out there every day grinding and getting the fence in and satisfying the customer. DOTs put on a test deck and all the vendors that want their product placed in that state or a like-minded state like a snow state will have to have their products on that test deck. Vendors call us ahead of time and they want us to install their product. They pay us to travel to Texas, they pay us to travel to Pennsylvania. Wherever the test decks are, they will pay us to go. We're part of the process that helps make the decisions. It goes to show that if you have the passion for what you're doing and care about what you're doing and do it properly, people will notice and seek you out. The DOT loves what they see, then they make the decision based on that. In essence, we save lives. We've gone out, we've found some great people in the state of Iowa to become a part of our team. They provide us with their expertise to grow our company and expand our territories of service. We seek the best people in the industry. We bring them on board. We give them the tools that they need so that they're growing themselves professionally as well as Century Fence. We want everyone to be the CEO of their role in the company. And that's how we're gonna get up this mountain together. Our values are humble, hungry, and together. And when I see our team getting ready to go out at seven o'clock at night, I just think about that hunger that Henry started back in 1913 for this business. It's the Bryant family stumbled three times before they, they went into the fence industry. And they picked themselves up and they just kept finding a way to, to, to move forward. It's really an amazing story how our highway division of the company started back in 1969 when the Wisconsin DOT decided that they were going to put out for bid a road striping project for the first time. Century Fence, who has historically been a fence company to that point, they had to scramble because they didn't have any materials, they didn't have any equipment for it, they didn't have any knowledge of really how to do it, and we took a risk and it paid off big time for us. In order to grow as a business, you need to be taking those risks. And you can't just stay stagnant. You need to be moving forward. And if you're not, your competitors are. One of our greatest examples of being hungry is an employee named Chad Sonnenberg. He worked in our pavement marking division. Chad saw posting to move over to the fence side of the business. He came into the interview and he said, I've always wanted to be a super. This has been my dream job since I've been a kid. He embodies having a hunger. He, he started out doing one thing for our company and he changed it into what he wanted his whole life. And he's thriving and he brings a lot to our leadership. He brings a lot to our subcontractors and our fence department overall. The sky's the limit. If you find a role that interests you and you're hungry to move into it, we take that serious. We wouldn't be where we're at and where we're going if we weren't all hungry. My grandfather, Tony Bryant, he put into the company a profit sharing plan back in the late 1950s. The willingness to share the fruits of everyone's labor with all is inscribed in our DNA. And that is just the essence of humility. We're all humbled every day just by what everyone does for one another. Nobody's more important or less important than anybody else. And you're humbled by the position you have and being able to help your coworkers succeed.
when Jason Calvert, our Iowa salesman, came up with the idea of trenching fence at our Stevens Point Airport project. He went out and trenched 40,000 feet of fence in between selling fence and never spiked the ball, never you know, said, look what I did. That just goes to show you how humble people are to, to go outside the box and do whatever it takes to satisfy not only the customer, but also for Century Fence. Just very, very impressive. Humble is the act of being open-minded, continuing to educate ourselves, realizing that where we are today is not where we need to be for tomorrow. Whoever you are in the company, what you use technology for has changed in the last 10 years. That's allowed us the opportunity to grow significantly. So we are embracing technology. We are building technology actively within our company so that we can stay at the top of our game. The project that epitomized the value of Together was Stevens Point Airport. It was a 40,000 foot fence job. We had to bring multiple crews on the same site. It was pretty cool to uh, witness the manpower and working together. We had multiple projects in Kansas this spring with very short time frame to get it done. We had six supervisors and crews from every location. That's never happened. That's, if that doesn't epitomize the word that, to together, I don't know what does. We understand the, the magic of what it looks like to work together. People depending on people is the beauty of work. Do more together than we can alone. Whatever we do, we will be successful because we are set up for it based on the technology, the people, the trust, and the community we have. Matt's always been able to take people in and make you see that Century is going to be, it's going to be across the whole U.S. You just got to stay tuned. As Matt says, get on the bus and, and enjoy the ride. And as we continue to row together, the future is for our taking.